Hello there. You're just the best for watching us right now. We really appreciate the love shown to us in our previous videos. Much love to you. If you're new here, you're warmly welcome. Kindly subscribe to become part of this family. Share the link to your loved ones and leave your comment for a shout out in our next video. Today we are here to serve you with another amazing recipe, Kokonte and Granut Soup with fresh rabbit meat. Stick and stay with us till the end of this video. We sweep to keep here clean. We all know cleanliness is next to godliness as we always say. In our coal pot, we put in some charcoal and cut small pieces of wood to set our fire. We wash our plantain leaves as always and introduce our ingredients. For today, our ingredients are salmon or mackerel, our favorite fish, smoked catfish, fresh rabbit meat, granite paste, garlic and ginger, pepper, and kitten kitty or anise seed, okra, onion, powdered pepper, tomatoes, okonte powder, momani or salted fish, garden eggs, tomato paste, and all other ingredients. We put the granite paste into a silver pot. Add the tomato paste. Pour water into it and mix together. Wash the pepper, onions, garden eggs and the rest of the ingredients. Put them into the granite and tomato paste. Put the pot on fire. And add the tomatoes. Slice onion in the earthenware bowl containing the garlic and ginger. Add anise seeds or inkitinkiti and start to grind. Check the granite paste on fire and stir for a while. Continue with the grinding. We check the fire from time to time to make sure our granite doesn't burn. We take the tomatoes and other ingredients out from the boiling granite on fire. Wash the fresh rabbit meat very well. And put it into a pot. The granite on fire is ready. We take it off the fire, add some few charcoal 
and put the pot containing the rabbit meat on it. We add the grinded ginger to the meat. Add water, powdered pepper, salt, and shake for all the ingredients to enter the meat very well and cover to boil. We wash our willy. Cut it into pieces. the meat on fire cover to boil for a while open and add the willy to it A stay and leave it to boil. We put the boiled ingredients into the earthenware bowl and start to grind. To check the meat on fire, add the boiled granite paste. Stir together and leave it to boil. water to the grinded ingredients sieve it and add to the soup on fire add salt wash and add our momoni or salted fish we then wash the okra Cut into two. Add to the soup and stir. We then wash the smoked catfish. To the soup then begin to wash the mackerel or salmon and add to the soup as well Wow, it's so nice to see our soup boiling this way. 
Hope you are enjoying the process. Kindly share to others to join and don't forget to leave your comments as we proceed with the cooking. the soup halfway with the lid and leave it on fire to boil very well you know granite soup is one of the soups that if it is not cooked well can really worry your stomach so it needs more attention on fire to be cooked very well we take the soup off the fire Add some extra charcoal and put it back on fire. Some shears. I wish you can smell the aromatic flavor here. This is so mouth-watering. By the way, you are not left out. We are doing this together. Let's continue the process. another cold pot pour charcoal in it take off the soup from the fire and light up the other cold pot then put back the soup on fire we pour our water into a pot it on fire add salt and cover to boil we check and hola, our water is boiling. We take off the lid, fetch out some of the hot water. the coconut flour to the hot water on fire begin to stir and add more of the flour We drive it faster.
water. again and cover it to boil we check the soup and it's boiling beautifully so we cover it to cook the more Continue to drive the cocoon tea. Continue to drive the cocoon tea. The cameraman wanted to try his hands on the driving. <laughs> Kindly judge his skills. Do you think he did well? <laughs> That's just by the way. ready wow we serve it in our earthenware bowl and serve the children in a different bowl they are not yet back from school. We take off the pot. Put the earthenware bowl on a plantain leaf. Take off the soup from fire. Take off the lid and begin to serve. is so delicious delectable luscious great tasting much more than tasty really appetizing lip smacking the kind of food to have you licking your lips in anticipation i love it this is very hot and oh yes 
that's exactly how we like it. You're all invited. much for sticking with us through to the end a huge hug to you we really appreciate your support if you're new here thank you for joining kindly subscribe if you haven't done that yet like share the link and leave your comments video. Bye!